Hmm. Why does this happen every single Tech Tree Thursday? I complain. I talk about how tier five is the cursed matchmaking, and then I get like blessed matchmaking instead. Laser B two three seven. Thank you for the sub, my dude. Eighty three k damage in a tier four. Still outskilled by a Kamikaze R. Yeah, but I mean Kamikaze R is Kamikaze R. I don't think you can outclub the Kamikaze R. I, maybe if he has a really bad game, but that thing has tier 10 torpedo power, so let's just say it's not a very easy, easy thing to beat. Well, this is very fortunate, this matchmaking advantage. And the difference is that now we got 127 millimeters, and the big difference between 127 and 102 is, is that we get that American AP pen on these DD guns. And even though the shell velocity looks questionably sh slow, uh, maybe I'll get to show it against the Emerald, the Phoenix, the Kuma. These are all juicy targets I might be able to de demonstrate the AP on. No 360 degree turrets here, sadly. Someone decided to put this thing here to block the turret. Nice, nice placement there, buddy. Torpedo power. It's 3 per side still, 2x3, still only 5.5 knot range though, concealment 5.8, can't really stealth fire. Takes a long time. Oh, we smoked up. Did not expect that. That's two cruisers there. Obviously, we're not gonna push no in into that. We got hydro and shit going on down there. Just gonna preemptively torp. Oh, there's three cruisers down there. We're gonna chill. See what happens. Whoa! I don't want to smoke up because I have cruiser support, whereas he does not. When you have cruiser support but the enemy does not, then you force the enemy to use their smoke, you do not use your own. Oh shit, the other torpedo side is reloaded, this one isn't. The common mistake is smoking up even when you have an advantage, and that's never worth it. Worried about this Nicholas torpedo, so that's Kamikaze R torpedoes. They do so much damage, so fucking fast as well. Basically, tier 10 torps, that's what it comes down to. Can use our whoa, turn off again. And use our torpedo range thing here. Measure if we can actually reach him with torps. Can that plane fuck off? Oh, that plane is annoying. We don't want to launch torps while we're playing spotted. It's a bad move. Until the plane moves away. Alle Stationen brauche Feuerunterstützung. Hmm. 
Smoke screen set. There we go. Some AP demonstration. job is also to scout and harass enemy deities as much as possible. Mm, my team isn't shooting, but that's a shame. That was a free kill. Low tier BBs are not very good at shooting priority targets. Huh? Part of his ship where the citadel is easier to reach. There we go. He's angling. Let's say Chi. Kill him before his Hydra reaches me. Destroyed. Now we go kill the Nicholas. And then we pretty much conquered this flank. Note that I was very careful with my smokes. I saved them until I was guaranteed to get significant value out of them. That's because you only have three smokes. So if you just pop them instantly and you waste them, you will not get too much value out of it. Uh, so you want to be careful with when and how you're using your smokes. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, that was my kill. I've done did so much work on that guy. Hmm. The best way to fight that kamikaze R is to force him to come to me. The best way to do that is to go to the enemy base. Kamikaze is a pain to chase because he's so fast. He's got great concealment. Like he's got a lot of things that work in his favor. But, if I can instead force him to chase me, push into me, then I have a very good chance of killing him. Shame, didn't get the kill. 
Fighting one versus two against DDs is always frustrating. Detected. That means the DD has left the smoke. Which way did it go? Did it go this way? Or that way? We don't know. But there's probably Kamikaze Torps coming, and we're playing it super safe. There is. Don't push in the Kamikaze Torps. That's a good way of going fast. Plus, in DD versus DD fights, you always want to be the guy who's kiting away. Because it's much harder to hit the guy who's running away, because your shells have to travel a longer time. Whereas hitting the guy who's coming towards you is much easier, because basically he's sailing towards your shell. So he's cutting down the time your shells have to travel. So that's why whenever you have to fight another gunboat, just turn your tail and start kiting away. If he chases, it's your advantage. Also, it's usually easier to hit the target. Well, not just because of shell velocity, but because of where, where to aim. Spotting here, so we're gonna smoke. And Nicholas is spotting for me. And Nicholas gunboated in the open and got killed or something. Not sure what his plan was. He did make my life a lot harder. Secure a Kraken. Looks green set. Not the best fire RNG, but raw damage on his superstructure should be enough. Even if it's very saturated. Oh, it's so saturated now. Can we hit his nose instead then? There we go. If, if you shoot the superstructure and you notice you're getting zero damage hits, the bow on battleships is usually quite thin, especially the upper part of the bow. And if you shoot the nose the superstructure and you get zero damage because it's so f so saturated. Saturated means it's taken so much damage that it can no longer take any more damage. And if that happens, you just switch for this nose part here and you can usually get penetrations and damage from that part. <laughs> Note that he's not contesting the cap. I'm using the cap as my information right now. If he was contesting the cap, that meant he had turned in. He's not contesting a cap, which means he's either sailing straight or he's sailing down this way. I still oh, I only have 20 seconds. Yeah, he's sailing straight. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, hello. Okay, we're gonna use our smoke. Note that we left this puff here, we left it as the, our longest puff. So we can use this, you see how our smoke is fading behind us, but this final puff has quite a long duration, and it will allow us, you see, 20 seconds, and I can keep this puff between me and the guys chasing, and they will not gain vision of me, even though I am within their spotting range. This is why you turn off, turn on the smoke circles in options. So this guy has no idea, he thinks I'm still here, but I've actually left the smoke. Enemy battleship destroyed. And I can still use that. No double strike for us, sadly. The other guy dodged the torp. Still, a pretty good Nicholas example game. Of just how strong the Nicholas is. Like, this is my point that the Nicholas in itself is not a weak destroyer. The Nicholas in itself is very, very strong. The issue is that most of the time you end up tiered into higher tier battles, which makes it quite, quite hard to carry. If, however, the matchmaker decides to be merciful and kind, as it was to me right now, well, then you can easily get a 
well, then you can easily have a significant impact on the outcome of the match because the ship itself is monstrously powerful. Uh, this was with a 10 point captain though, so keep in mind that I did, well, at tier 5 you usually tend to have a, a 10 point captain. It might not be at the start of the tier 5 grind, but usually towards the end at least you tend to have that tier 10, uh, 10 point captain which gives you concealment expert. Overall though, um, a good chunk of the damage was obviously AP though, on ships like the Emerald, significant AP damage, and Dugai Tron, significant AP damage as well. Right, that's pretty much the low tiers covered. Tier 3, Tier 4, Tier 5. Uh, after this, it, this, this is where the rough part really starts for the American DDs though, because now we're move, we will be moving on to the Farragut and the Mayhem and both have had suffered significantly from the power creep. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go get a cup of tea. Give me one second and we'll move on to the Farragut. Give me like literally a minute. <laughs> 